everyone. Welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's fun project video, we're going to hop back over to the lathe and turn a pin. When I originally bought this Win bench top lathe as a late Christmas gift to me in early January 2018, my intention was to immediately hop over onto it and start knocking out pins, but then I realized the initial startup cost, and after talking to some people on some chat rooms and some Facebook groups, they were telling me the initial startup cost for pin turning, if you really want to get into it, it can really be um, very expensive. And after getting the bench top lathe and a set of chisels, I didn't have the finances at the time. So I hopped into making goblets, and you can see them there on the shelf. They've really been a hit with people, and I've done a few videos on making goblets. But I now have everything I need to turn a pin. And in the last few weeks, I have been turning slimline pins, and that's what we're going to be making today. I bought a kit of about 20. It was a bulk kit to make 20 slimline pins and... I've already made and successfully completed four. This was the very first one I ever made, this old gross cedar one with a sentimental backstory to it. Then I turned two mahogany pins, and that's what we're going to be making in this video, another mahogany pin. And then a buddy of mine gave me a spectra ply pin blank, and I turned this beautiful pin. This is my most recent one that I've completed, but really, really cool. I feel that I am now confident to show you my way of making a pin, and it's very easy, and I didn't have to go and spend all the extra money on the pin vice and everything. If I keep doing this, yes, I will invest in those things, but for right now, I'm having fun making pins, and I want to show you guys how I do it. So let me turn on the air filter, get my dust mask on, move the camera, and we'll get started. And over here at the table saw, we will use a pre-existing pin blank to measure to rip down our mahogany piece to the correct size. And then we will head over to the band saw and cut two pieces a little bit longer than the brass tubes that will be glued in. And then I will head back to the workbench and mark the centers of these blanks. Again, I don't have none of the fancy pin turning equipment. Just doing it my way. And we will head over to the drill press and use a pair of pliers to hold everything in place while drilling for the brass tubes. This drill bit is the same size as the brass tubes. Then we will head back over to the workbench and take some rough sandpaper and scuff up the brass tubes. You have to do this in order for the CA glue to have something to grab and bite on when it's glued into the wood blank. But I will glue these in and use a bit of activator and set them aside to dry for three or four minutes completely. And then I will take them over to the belt sander and flush sand them to the brass tube. And then we will put the two pieces on the pin turning mandrel. You begin by putting one of the little bushings on here. Then you'll put a blank on, another bushing, the other blank, the last bushing, the spacer, and then you will lock everything in and the bushings is where we will be turning to that is your reference point for slimline pin turning and then we will head over to the lathe and attach it and begin turning keep in mind I'm left-handed and I'm just doing what feels comfortable for me and I will take my time and turn the two blanks down to the bushings once again, that is our guide. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram. I'd really appreciate the support. Once I'm satisfied with the two pieces here, I'll move on to sanding and sand to a high grit. And then I will finish it with beeswax. It gives it a nice, soft, velvety touch. Pick this up at Cling Spore. And then I will buff that out. And then all of our turning will be done. 
and beeswax really makes the grain pop. And now we will go back over to the workbench and take the two pieces off of the mandrel and take all the pieces out of the plastic and head over to the vise and I will hot glue a piece of wood onto the vise just to protect everything. Again, I don't have a pin turning vise but we'll just begin by assembling everything using even pressure to make everything press fit Now I'm putting in the turning mechanism, going right up to the little line that's made on the tube. And now we'll head back over to the workbench and install the ink cartridge and the little gold band here. And the pen is complete. And I wrote thanks for watching on the notepad. Sorry it didn't come up, but the project is complete. And here we have the completed slimline pen made on the lathe out of mahogany wood and it came out amazing. Really, really cool. Start to finish, that is my preferred method for making pens. It's what I've used to make all five of my pens now. I've successfully made five slimline pens and with each pen I can tell my technique is being refined as I'm learning more and experiencing more, turning smaller and smaller things. I don't know how to do none of the decorative touches now, like the beading or the waves and some of the pins you see. I'm sure I'll learn that as I go. And as I go, and if I keep making pins, I will, of course, invest in the proper equipment like a pin vise. The, I think it's called a reamer tool for drilling out to where the brass is instead of having to go to the belt sander. But really, really cool. Really, really amazing. It's got that simple twist mechanism here where you just twist it and the ink pen comes out. You twist it back and it retracts back into the chamber. But really, really cool. I know on my very first pen here I made out of cedar, it didn't come out all the way so I had to disassemble the pen and go back to the vise and press it in a little bit more. I'm really learning how to also fine tune that where to stop pressing when assembling the pen but really really cool and really really awesome I cannot believe the minimal amount of material that are on these pens and there we go right there is the amount of material that is on these pens it's less than a sixteenth of an inch a lot of the blanks get turned away of course we use mahogany in this one and it has beautiful grain but I'm just guessing you have to have the blanks that big so it doesn't blow out while drilling out the stuff and you also have to have material to turn and shape but really really cool really really amazing I want to thank and credit two amazing woodworking friends that have been coming over and teaching me and then I've also been teaching them on the scroll saw and all and that is Nighthood Creations and AK Custom Woodworking I will leave links down in the description box below to their Instagram accounts please go and follow them they're doing amazing work in the turning and woodworking world but they come over seen the goblets on the wall and finally seen the mandrel behind the lathe in the package it came in with the receipt and they're like well why haven't you started turning pins have you got pin kits I said yeah I've got um, slimline pin kits back here and I showed them those and they're like well you got everything you need and I'm like no I don't I don't have all the equipment and they're like you have enough to make a slimline kit so after watching some videos online and finding an amazing video which I'll also link down in the description box below I said yeah I can go on and make one I don't need all those fancy tools so I did it and I turned the first cedar pin and then I turned all the others and then I believe Nighthood Creations also hooked me up with some Spectraply pin blanks. This is what we use to measure out the mahogany pieces but I've already turned one of them and it came out beautiful and unique. Will be a great conversation piece for years to come but really really cool really really amazing I had fun making this I'm learning a lot and I hope you guys like watching me make it if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram all my social media links will always be linked down in the description box below of my videos until the next one guys that's about all for this one and remember if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the artisan pirate take care and I'll see you guys real soon